Welcome back to Ray's Garage. I'm Ray Cornelia. So it's been a couple weeks since my hernia surgery, so I've been doing a lot of sitting around. A lot of YouTube time, um, internet time. Uh, recovering very well though. Um, thank you everyone for your well wishes. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm in good shape. Um, I kept to the doctor's rules and did not lift anything over 10 pounds. Uh, it was tough. It's driving me nuts to sit around. Um, I'm out for two or three more weeks. So I'll have uh, plenty of time to surf the internet, go on YouTube, watch everyone's videos, uh, catch up on that. And I'm also working uh, with the contractor on getting the shop build going. Um, there's a lot of building going on around where I live. So uh, getting contractors and subs um, to do a small garage compared to the scope of their work is kind of tough. So anyway, um, in the never ending quest for better audio and video, um, I picked up this uh, lavalier microphone off Amazon for about 16 bucks delivered. It got here in a day. Um, so as you can see, I have it dangling from my sweatshirt right now. Um, and I hope the audio quality is better now. Um, this is a powered microphone. Um, it's got a little watch battery in this little unit here. Um, the reason it's powered is because uh, my Vixia, Canon Vixia camera, will not work on a non-powered microphone. So I found that out and now I have this powered microphone. And the other microphone I use um, is a uh, Tactar shotgun mic, which I like a lot, but it, it's omnidirectional and it picks up a lot of sounds all around. So um, let's give this guy a try and see how it goes. Um, I opted for this wired one because the wire, wireless ones are up in the $100 range and I really didn't want to spend that uh, just yet. So hopefully this quality is decent. I wanted to mention that the last video I posted, um, Northridge Tool 2x72 Belt Grinder, um, I videoed that before my surgery um, and just had a whole bunch of editing to do. So it was basically sitting in the can. Um, so some of you thought that I was lifting heavy objects uh, when that v grinder arrived, but um, that was um, well before my surgery. So, but uh, thank you for your uh, thoughts though. I do appreciate it. Uh, anyway, um, last week uh, I received um, a package and this package came from uh, Chuck Van Natta, Knoll Top Farms. He's a fellow YouTube creator. Um, a lot of you watch Chuck's channel. If you don't, go over there and check it out. Again, it's Knoll Top Farms, and I'll put a link to his channel um, in the comments below. So um, that came, arrived in the mailbox. So um, I'll reposition the camera and open it up and see what we got. So let's see what goodies Chuck sent us. I'm always leery about cutting into envelopes because you never know. Oh, I know what this is. If you guys watch Chuck's channel, you'll know that he purchased the mother load of reamers, tapered reamers. And look, he's warning me several times here. Hope you can see that. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks for the warning, because now that you warned me, you know it's gonna cut me. <laughs> Oh, I like how he packaged these. He separated them all. Very, that was pretty smart. Okay, what we have is a tapered reamer here. 
very good quality check that out that is sweet yeah and he's right these things are pretty sharp you guys are going to witness me slicing myself open on camera wouldn't that be cool oh man these are nice thank you very much Chuck look at this a nice set here I will definitely use these guys well oiled thank you Chuck I really do appreciate this thank you for thinking of me um, I will definitely use these in the future and when I do I'll make sure I get it on video very nice thank you several different sizes here they look brand new I mean they have some they have a little bit of surface rust but other than that these these guys look brand new and they are very sharp I can tell you that thanks again Chuck I do appreciate it and I'll mention again uh, that was uh, Chuck Van Natta Knoll Top Farms um, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the comments many of you may remember that in the last video um, I was on the hunt for a Wilton bullet vise well right after posting that video I get a text message from outside screwball Chuck Bomarino um, basically he's telling me he has a contact and uh, here's this guy's number give him a call see if he's got anything well sure enough uh, this guy had several Wilton bullet vices um, so long story short um, I ended up deciding which vice I wanted uh, this guy was about 30 minutes from where Chuck lives so uh, Chuck went up there picked it up for me paid the guy um, brought it home with them and uh, Chuck and I have a mutual friend that commutes from Clovis where I live to the Bay Area where Chuck lives um, for business during the week so um, Chuck not only went and picked this vice up for me but he made arrangements with Gary to get the vice delivered to me and um, that was very thoughtful I do appreciate that so Gary brought the vice uh, yesterday and dropped it off and in normal Chuck Bomarino fashion he couldn't just send the vice down here um, he had to include a box a package so we have that package so let's reposition the camera and take a look at what Chuck sent it's got a little weight to it and it sounds like there's metal parts in here okay he sent a note let's read the note Ray extra goodies from an estate sale nothing special use sell or trade <laughs> freeze plug for a dust cap just an idea all the best Chuck okay I'll show you what he means by the freeze plug here in a minute let's see what Chuck sent oh wow I'll just take everything out of the box first some pretty cool stuff here Chuck nice oh, Chuck must have been reading my mind I've been wanting and needing a good thread file for a long time as a matter of fact I almost bought one last week this one is nice um, made in the USA it's in really good shape this is really nice it's good quality this is great I'm gonna definitely use something like this so it looks like it's got 9 pitch 10 28 32 12 and 16 20 and 27 pitch thread files nice this thing will definitely get used
Very nice. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you for thinking about me. I appreciate it. Um, he picked these up in a, obviously at a state sale, but check this thing out. This thing has some character to it. It looks like an old school compass, uh, but it looks like somebody had fixed it. I don't know if Chuck fixed this or I don't know if you can see it. And there's some welding here too. But look at this thing. This thing is really neat. Somebody really liked this thing to, to put all this work into keeping it going. But it, it is really nostalgic and it's neat. I don't know of this brand. Um, I'm sure many of you will. This is really neat. Another great tool. Made in the USA. This must have been old school uh, drafter, machinist, engineer. Who knows, but these things are very handy. Very handy for laying stuff up, measuring parts. Um, this looks like it's got a center finder to it. Very, you know, check that out, General. You know, uh, General's a good, uh, good alternative to stare at. They're a lot less expensive and they're good, good quality tools. Tap drill size chart on the back of that. That's pretty cool. Thanks again, Chuck. This is really, really thoughtful. I appreciate it. And he also sent a bunch of these. Uh, uh, this is power strut material. This stuff is very useful. Um, Chuck sent me this knowing I'm going to be building a shop. And uh, these things work great for shelves, brackets, um, anything. Look, look at the thickness of that. I mean, it's just, it looks like quarter inch. Heavy duty. And he sent a bunch of them. So I will definitely be using these guys. Thank you very much, Chuck. I do appreciate it. I will use these tools. Okay. Now let's take a look at this vise. So... In that note, Chuck mentioned maybe the freeze plug will work. So basically where that came from, uh, when Chuck picked this up, this was missing the end cap. So in Chuck's kindness and thoughtfulness, uh, he probably rustled through his shop and found a freeze plug for an engine block that fit in here and taped it on. So, isn't that neat? Uh, this vise, um, the person I bought it from had a piece of tape here and it was marked 771. Okay, so from what I understand, from what I've read on the internet, I don't know if it's fact or fiction, but apparently the, the date stamps that are on these are the warranty expiration period. So this one, this one, the warranty would have expired in 7 of 1971. So that would make this a 1966 Wilton Bullet Vice. Um, and if that is not true, and that is the actual manufacturer date stamped on the keyway on the inside of this jaw, which I haven't verified yet, um, this would make this a 1971. So um, any Wilton experts out there may know the answer to that, but I, but I can tell you these look like the original jaws. They look like the original screws in the horseshoe uh, um, retaining ring. And this also looks like the original paint on this vise. So um, Chuck, you did real good, man. Thank you, I appreciate it and uh, it doesn't look like it had really that much abuse. I see a couple uh, hacksaw cuts in it. Um, there, there are no, no cracks or breaks except there's a small one right here. Right here, I don't know if you can see that. It looks like it, a grinder. It looks like a grinder hit it right here. You know, I'm wondering if somebody, somebody ground that to knock out the end cap and that's why the end cap was missing to do something here when um, he didn't realize that you had to remove uh, the jaw to knock the, the end cap out. But anyway, um, 
This is going to be a future restoration project. Um, most of you know that I'm pretty anal about stuff. I am not going to make this too pretty. I do want to restore it. Uh, maybe not back to brand new condition, but pretty close. Uh, but I will use it. I will use this vise. Um, it would make a nice little machinist vise. And I also wanted to mention too that I'm a little leery about. Uh, Chuck sent me a text message mentioning the fact that, hey, do you remember uh, Tom Lipton's Wilton bullet vise that went to Brad Jacob and what Stan Zinkowski did to it? So in other words, if you guys didn't see that video, um, Brad Jacob ended up with a super bright pink Wilton vise. So um, he also mentioned the freeze plug and this thing is taped on here so I'm a little leery about taking this thing off. I'd hate to uh, take this tape off and something pop out and I bust my hernia open again. So I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to set this guy aside for now until I can work on it. Um, I still have the North Ridge tool grinder uh, to assemble and test. Uh, that's coming up. Uh, let me reposition the camera and say a few words in closing. In closing, I'd like to thank Chuck Van Atta, Knoll Top Farms, Chuck Bomarino, Outside Screwball, and their mutual friend Gary for delivering the goods. Thanks guys, I really do appreciate it. Until next time, see ya!